Students are showing up late for class, spending hours on a bus each day as districts all across North Texas struggle to hire enough bus drivers. This is a nationwide problem, and tonight Andrea Lucia gives us a look at how two local districts are working to solve it. Good. At Princeton High School, hey, nice passes, way to move the ball. Eric Lockman coaches basketball. You're going to remember that. It's just consciously going to be in your mind. And he teaches. This year, he's also increasingly in yet another role as bus driver. Well, I may get a call at 10 30 in the morning or at lunchtime, and uh, somebody's asking me, hey, is it, you know, are you available to drive the bus today? And Coach Lockman used to get that call one to two times a year. Now it comes one to two times a week. It's nice supplement income, in my opinion. To be able to help out is kind of the, the main thing. Like school districts nationwide, Princeton has struggled to hire drivers. This year, it raised its pay for bus drivers from $17.50 to $22 bucks an hour, offered a $1,000 signing bonus, and for the first time, paid applicants to get their commercial driver's license. It's still short staffed. It's obviously the kids and parents that are suffering or, you know, have to rearrange their schedules. With two drivers out sick one morning, the district warned of extreme delays in pickup, a problem that's occurred about once a week since the start of school. A Twitter page for the Carroll ISD Transportation Department reveals similar issues with regular notices of routes with no available driver and buses running as much as an hour and a half late. In Garland ISD, meanwhile, mechanics are dropping their tools to drive bus routes. We have to check uh, the seats for children. The district says it's advertising its 22 open positions widely. More drivers means more routes, with fewer stops and shorter commutes. Just those 22 drivers is the difference between a kid being on a bus for an hour, you know, rather than half an hour. Assistant Superintendent Shelley Garrett says the district is offering full-time benefits for the part-time gig and a $2,000 bonus. The district, like most, is working to lure in applicants, but Garland ISD will go even further. It will soon become its own driving school, training, testing, and certifying drivers for their CDL in-house. We are going to become a third-party vendor of that test, so we will hold your hand, take you to the test. I will personally make you a pie. Doing so, Garrett says, will reduce delays and the chance a driver will decide to go elsewhere. We don't want them to get away from us, you know, really. With more families moving to North Texas, demand for drivers to get their kids to school is likely to keep growing. I enjoy it. It's fun. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. So a couple of things here. If you're interested in working as a bus driver in Garland, Princeton, and plenty of other districts, they're interested in talking to you. So much so, Andrea told us she got several job offers for her while reporting the story from the people she was working with. We're going to post some links to the story available on CBSDFW.com. Maybe you're interested.